my name's Carly and I'm a final year PhD student in the Department of Sociology at the University of Warwick and my PhD explores first generation working class students experiences of being at an elite Russell Group University. I applied for the Sociological Review Writing Retreat at the time when I was thinking about writing up my thesis, um, brainstorming ideas as to what my chapters might start to look like. At that period of time, the idea of writing 80,000 words just would seem so big and so overwhelming. Um, so the writing retreat really came at a pivotal time in terms of thinking about strategies of how I am best able to manage and work towards that 80,000 word document on a day-to-day -day basis. I found the writing retreat to be a very supportive, informal, but at the same time serious environment. There was no surveillance or policing of the words or the material that you've written. Instead, it was about what have you achieved or what do you hope to achieve? I think the most important thing for me was that we was working in a community of practice, all in the same room, all together. At the writing retreat, the typical everyday setup was nine to five, but not nine to five in terms of constantly sat writing. Instead, the day was structured around a series of set writing periods that lasted either 90 minutes or 60. Within those 60 and 90 minutes, we would work individually on our own writing in silence, followed by, followed by breaks of half an hour or 15 minutes or an hour for lunch, where we would share with others our reflections and successes and challenges of the previous session. The writing retreat was set in Scotland in a really idyllic scenery. Um, it was in a village, so at breaks we made the most of getting out and getting some fresh air and going for walks. In terms of the lifelong lessons that I took away from the writing retreat, it taught me the importance of taking breaks, setting small writing goals and reflecting upon those achievements, no matter how small they may have been. It also taught me the importance of not being too focused on the amount of words you've written, but instead the arguments that you've made and put forward. Mm -hmm.